Let's take a look at two-way tables. So this table shows um, year sevens and year eights who are doing football and cricket. So what we've got here is year sevens. So some of them do football, some do cricket. This is the total number of students in year seven. Year eight, some do football. We know 42 do cricket, but we don't know the total. And here is our total row. So we know that the grand total that do football, and that is the year sevens and year eights combined, is 136. In here would be the total of uh, cricket from year seven and year eight. And here we've got the, t the grand total, which is all of the year sevens and all of the year eights added up. And this also is the all of the football plus all of the cricket. So we know that there's a grand total of 200. Now we can complete the table by just using logic. So if there's 200 people in total and 96 are in year seven, then the remainder are in year eight. So that's 200 take away 96, which is 104. Now that we've got the 104, we can work out how many year eights played football. If 42 of them played cricket, then 104 minus 42 tells us that 62 did football. If 62 did football, out of a total of 136, we can work out how many there are in year seven that did football. That's 136 minus 62, which is 74. And if we know that the total for football is 136 out of a grand total of 200, then we can work out the cricket total as well. And that would be 200 take away 136, which is 64. And if the total for cricket is 64, of which 42 were in year eight, then the rest are in year seven, so that is 22. So just by logic, we've now completed the table. So what is the prob probability that a student is chosen at random and that they are a year seven student who participates in football? So what we need to do now is find out, well, how many year seven students participate in football? So year seven football, that is 74. So that is 74 out of the grand total, which is the 200. So the probability is 74 two hundredths. Now 74 over 200, we can simplify this fraction and that simplifies to 37 one hundredths, dividing top and bottom by two. So uh, we can give the, the question hasn't stated how we should give our answer, but 37 out of 100 would be fine. Uh, if it asked for a decimal, then just divide top by bottom. So that'd be 0 0.37 or even as a percentage, 37%. So let's take a look at tables for multiple events. So Jim throws two dice and adds the scores together. What's the probability that Jim throws the dice and achieves a combined score of eight or more or less than five. So what we're going to do is we are going to put a table together and this is for the first die and this is for the second die. So the first die could land on one, two, three, four, five, six. The second die also anything between one and six. So if the first die is one and the second die is one, then, and you add them together, that is two. Two plus one, three. So all I'm doing is I'm just completing this grid which might take a while, it's a bit, of a bit of a pain really. One plus two is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are th uh, six by six options, so there's 36 outcomes. So how many ways can he score eight or more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So remember it includes the eight as well. So fifteen out of thirty-six is the probability, but these numbers can both be divided by three. Fifteen divided by three is five. Thirty-six divided by three is twelve. So the probability of eight or more is five twelfths. Less than five is so not including five, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six out of 36, and we can divide top and bottom by six to one sixth. So the probability of scoring less than five is one sixth.